summertime is here at last and I'm sadly got work so yeah you sometimes you miss you really do miss uh, being a kid when you're an adult now and I would like to stay a kid forever that way yeah I can have summer vacation but if I did my parents would just send me to either summer school or summer camp <laughs> Like, and we know why they sent us here. They said it was for your education and everything like that to help you, like, grow up. But, no, in fact, uh, Max said it best here. Parents send the kids to summer scams so they ha don't have to deal with them for the summer. And, yeah, which is why I'm going to Camp Campbell. <laughs> We're in season four here of Camp Camp. Oh, boy. Episode one. Keep the change. And it's and from, from the description, it's not about, like, money. Anyhow, so yes, we know season three, it ended. The camp the camp was shut down. They, uh, through just evil acts, because they actually believe carpool crap. Ma I can't believe Max, of all people, fell for his bullcrap. They screwed over the Campwells, who legitimately want to do good, and blackmailed them into giving them money. Now, in the end, though, <laughs> Carpool decided to, you know what, um, I don't deserve this, I'm going to turn myself in, he did, and eventually, like, the FBI guy, i.e. Aaron's, Aaron's parents, their Aaron's dads, decided, you know what, this guy's an idiot, and he's the kind of idiot that can do good for the community, the kind of good that comes with several hundred hours of community service. So now he's working at the camp under David. <laughs> oh, welcome to camp, asshole. Camp, Max, you the best. All right, so while... Uh... Uh, Carson Car Car Crapool uh, struggles to adjust to his new life of community service at camp. Max is determined to prove to David and Crapool, I mean, to, to, Max is determined to, to prove to David that Crapool is incapable of changing. Yeah. Um, hmm. This is th this is all the kind of thing that will blow up in Max's face. I'm kind of hoping because I like Max and all that people, but let's be honest. He has accumulated quite a bit of bad karma. It's only a matter of time before it goes back and bites him. <laughs> I mean, we, ha we had a little bit of that during the whole uh, Daniel coming back, you know, the Halloween special where he tries to drive Max crazy. <laughs> but now... Gotta see this. So, without further ado, let's just watch. Alright, um, let me see. Oh, boy, yeah. Okay, lower the volume a bit here. Oh, what the? Well, that's Space Kid? What am I supposed to do with a gallon of milk? Drink it all for a devastating projectile attack. What? No. I'm counting on you, Neil. I'm on you. Food fight. Is that Quartermaster's leg? Oh, Aaron! Mr. Campbell's quiet corner is a tomfoolery free zone. Good morning, campers. And the entire mess hall is already destroyed. Yep. Mr. Campbell, why didn't you stop them? Hey now. Oh, are you kidding me? The service doesn't start until you, you, really? in the morning. It is 8:45. Well, yeah, they, yes. A federal judge. So federal judge. Ah, <laughs> yes. Nice. In that order. <laughs> oh, I can't another 12 hours of hard labor. It's the same work David and I do every day. You don't even have to do a good job. You just have to be a decent human being. <laughs> the hard part. <laughs> yes. Yes. I know you can turn over a new leaf. <laughs> let me handle the cleaning while you go and help Quartermaster set up for the day. David! You two are wasting your time. Okay, still Campbell doing this. Is, was, and always will be a garbage human being. People yep. don't change. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> what did you just say? Oh. Well, it's just that 
you know. Know what? It you! It seems a bit hypocritical for you to say that people can't change. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're the one who's changed the most since we got here. What? Exactly. You, yeah, you kind of have. Change. Don't get me the, wrong, yeah. Max. You're still terrible, but you've definitely lightened up a y bit. Yeah, you have. Dare you! I am Max, I like the episode where he's... Rebel, the one-man Hellraiser. I hate everyone, and everyone hates me. I well, hate yeah, well proud David can't hate someone. anyone. But Bullshit. I'm going to prove that people can't And I know a bunch of reactors who doesn't hate it. him. I haven't helped quartermaster yet, but I did put clothes on. So going on break. <laughs> and it's going to be easy. Oh boy. Oh, dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Adventures every day. Sounds like I'm going to believe. I haven't heard a song in months. <laughs> Anyhow, but yeah, Max has changed indeed a bit. I mean, I still remember, again, like the entire thing finale, he did it all to be for his friends, to be with his friends. I don't forget the time when he decided to turn himself in, take the fall for the whole candy scheme in order to save, uh, in order to save Dolph. So yeah, he has changed. This is probably what he, must, what he says. But yeah, he's still terrible though. I hope weaving oh, dream catchers didn't cause the campers too much trouble. Weaving not. dream catchers? Hands are perfect for the job. In fact, we've already moved on to making sweaters. If we jack up the prices, we could make a killing selling these babies in town. I did it? What? I think this is child labor. Yes! Oh, I made a sweatshop again? Again? Why does this keep happening? Even God, I love subliminal messaging. Oh, don't commit crime. Do you really think tricking kids wow. into his old habits is the best way to prove people can't change? Absolutely. Yeah. And I'd but... like to point out that it's a classic Max move. This does seem like the kind of yeah. thing Max would have done. Uh -huh. No, Max, just Max. <laughs> is it because uh, does Max voice sound a little yeah, bit different? You excuse me. Like when he's like raising his voice, screaming. I don't. I don't know. Darn it, quartermaster! If I could just uh, Max. A break. Hey, don't beat yourself up about it, Cam. After all, you can't help it. Being bad is just in your blood. <sighs> Maybe the kid's right. Yeah. What if I took his blood? He oh, oh, oh. Mr. Cam. Yes, yes. He took his blood. <laughs> I agree. You to change overnight. I want about that. Taking small steps and never giving up. How about oh. with you on some of your other What better way for down? this for my scheme to bite him back? We'll see about that. Oh boy! Do not take my blood. Do not take my <laughs> oh, take his blood, poor master. Feel good to do good. There's a food for a poor beggar. Get lost, <gasps> sir. Wait, Mr. Campbell. What? Oh, right. Oh. Okay, sir, something at least, but vest, you yeah. Community outreach program. Cop. Haven't you ever heard the phrase treat others the way you'd want to be wow, treated? Wow, space kid. Um, I would like others to give me $20. Okay. <laughs> you know, I would do I that myself. I don't know. Because 20 bucks. And I expect you to have a full bag of Although, shouldn't he have like that uh, Please. sensor in his brace? In his leg, in his, in his ankle? The ankle brace, you know. What about the time he helped raise enough money to save the camp? Now, see, I would put that on the good list, except that he raised the money by getting Gwen and David beaten to a pulp. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but Boy, still. I am really in the weeds on Max's morality these days. Where is Max, anyway? You know, if you want to get David off your back, why not just pop into one of these shithole stores and offer to take out their trash? Boom. Your bag will be filled. Hey, yeah. And if it goes well... We might even be able to start up some sort of garbage collection business. Why has no one thought of that before? You'd be a garbage man, you idiot. Cam, while I make sure David catches you in the act. Oh. Oh, drat. I guess someone has thought of this before. The hell do you think you're doing, big guy? I, uh, I'm here to take out the trash. Cops! Oh, so you're one of them tough guys. You think your little one-liner's gonna scare me? 
Listen, pal, I'm just trying to clean up these streets. And I'll be damned if you're gonna beat me to it. <laughs> what Wait, the? What? Hey, what? Max, please, hey, what? you really need to deliver this sandwich. All you need is to see what Campbell's <laughs> really up to. <laughs> Behold. I said, give me the bag. <laughs> it's mine. Robin robbers and child labor? You guys are some crooked cops. You'll pay for this. <laughs> Why the hell were you throwing away so much money? You're a hero. <laughs> oh! Believe it, David. It does feel good to do good. And look, the mayor gave me fifty dollars and this key to the city, or whatever. Yeah, what? What's the point of that, anyhow? Can't use it for shit. From this point forward, I'm going to be a good guy. Uh oh! <laughs> oh, Max! No! Sunday school should be not worth it. Okay, well, there we are. You know, that's not really the reason you should be doing the right thing. What? Why else would you lead an honest life if you're not going to get anything for it? Well, yeah, it is. Ooh, finally. 7 p.m. That's the end of my community service for the day. I'm grabbing some celebratory drinks at Muffin Tops. Have fun with the sandwich. Uh, but uh, the kids and um. Off the clock, David. Yes. I think I was almost worried. Even when he manages to do some good. Campbell's still only in it for himself. Face it, yeah. David, people don't change. I mean, granted, you do good and... Mm. And if we take into consideration the time Max got the Wood Scouts labeled as a domestic terrorist group... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when did that happen? Max? Ugh. When did that happen exactly? Definitely going on your bad list. Your stupid lists don't matter because I already proved my point. Campbell's still the rotten dirtbag he's always been. Just like me. Ah, speak of the devil. Let's see. Mr. Campbell, we're back. Ooh, hey, hands He's up. drunk. <laughs> you gotta buy oh. me dinner first. I yeah. did, sir. You demanded we stop by the sandwich shop on the way home. Ah, that's because you're one of the good ones, David. Just like I will be tomorrow at 7 a.m. And not a moment before. Come on, David, just give up. Admit I was right. <sighs> All right, nobody move. I'm not playing around. Seriously? Ah! Oh my gosh, the robber from earlier. How the fuck uh, did he find us? Did... What is it you want? Well, I'll tell you what I want. Yeah, what? What? I want fifty dollars. What? What? I, I, I don't have my wallet on me, David. Oh no! If only Cam. someone here had that exact amount of money to give away. What? I'm done throwing up now. I'm Mr. done throwing up now. The mayor give you fifty dollars? What? Okay. Why did I make it sound like this is all stage? Or, or you could give your fifty dollars to the man holding the gun and save us all. Please, I'm too young to die. I'm too talented to die. Eh. Yeah. I'm too safe to die. All right, all right. Yeah. I will. Line here. Not worried. I mean, his helmet's bulletproof. I don't know. Mr. Campbell, it's fifty dollars. I know. It's a really hard decision. Are you that dumb? I, I mean, I want twenty-five dollars. Yeah, this is all stage. Uh, this is all stage. I would like a heartfelt apology. Heartfelt? <laughs> Max, what are you doing? He, he said don't move. You know, this is a I fake. Need to stay back. Oh, Max. Cheated. Yeah. Bubble hey, gun. What? Uh, David? You expect me to believe that a situation in which Cameron Campbell's the only person capable of saving the day just naturally came together out of thin air? <laughs> nice try. Hey, buddy. Uh, I'm not really sure where to go from here. You pretty much yeah. hit the nail in the head. Yeah, exactly. Take my money and uh, go. What did you do? I just David? Thought, you know, if we gave Mr. Campbell a push in the right direction, we <laughs> help him grow and prove that people can change so you paid a criminal to come to a children's summer camp and wave a gun around just to clarify <laughs> have not been paid yet that is politically underhanded yeah and in this country's current gun culture climate uh, oh, oh, oh oh david you've <laughs> oh. changed yes Wait, you've changed yeah. yeah yeah the old david would never have done something this shitty <laughs> so i guess that means 
David was right. People can change for better <laughs> and for worse. Yeah, that These guys are really rubbing off on each other. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. To prove a point? Well, I, for one, am incredibly disappointed in you. I'm going to bed. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. Let's go play this guy. So, uh, I'm gonna need to get paid. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um. All right. <laughs> so, yep. Uh. Oh my God. <laughs> yep. And that's the moral. People change for both better and worse. They're inf they and two people can influence each other. Max and David were influencing each other. Oh my god. <laughs> and now they find themselves in a very um <laughs> precarious situation. Pay the man. In fact, Max should have plenty of money. We know he's we know throughout season three, he has made quite a bit. So uh Max pay him. Okay, yeah, so bad that being said, like yes, Cameron. Uh, huh, why don't I know? I said his name right. I can remember his name. Yes, Cameron, right? Cameron Carl. No, I wasn't right. Anyhow, yeah, but yeah, yes, uh yeah, Carson. Carson, he He really can't I mean giving fifty for fifty dollars for these kids' lives? Oh, that's a hard choice. Yeah, talk about a federal judge, you idiot. I swear to god. <laughs> yes, um, even when he is trying to do good, he can't help but f make it so it benefits him, makes him money. Um, to be fair, Bob, to being good and altruistic that does make you feel morally good, right, or anything like that. Um, it won't pay the bills. Assuming you know, like what I'm saying, Camp, uh, Carol, Caroth. Whatever doesn't pay his bill, he's, he's a fraud for crying out loud. <laughs> uh, so interesting moral lesson here. Yes, and I like how uh, Neil and Nikki were trying to figure all this out, like trying to gauge everything. And when the hell did Max have like the Wood Scout class got got magic at them classified as some sort of terrorist, terrorist like group or something like that? Jeez. It's amazing what happens in between episodes and such, and seasons. Oh, boy, yeah. That, that was a fun episode. Fun, it was fun seeing them back. And the new uh, dynamic, having uh, the con artist here and everything, just seeing how low he is. It's like, even giving 25 bucks a kid's life is, too, is like, oh, too much for him. It's like, I gotta wonder if... It, Everything he's doing is being recorded, and er Eric's dads are watching all this, like evaluating him. It's like, okay, this guy, this guy will add in another few hundred hours into his labor community service. Because who oh boy, yeah, this guy just this, he's never made an honest living. That's a fact. I'm so I did, I did like how he tricked Space Kid though. It's like I would like someone to give people to give me twenty dollars. Here you go. That's so, yeah. We'd all do that to him. We'd all like Trick Space Kid like that. <laughs> oh, so everyone, thank you all for watching. That, that was entertaining. As always, also, I can't, but one thing for sure, though, I, um, there were moments here that Max voice, at least two moments, at least, that I caught, so that Max's voice sounded just off. It was like for a split second. I don't know why, but for a split quick second, it sounded a little off. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. So everyone, thank you for watching. As always, comment down below what you all thought. Like and subscribe for more videos. Till next one, this is Mexan, logging out.